it's Ron again here, back uh, for another flight with the uh, Hubson Zeno 2. We've recently got a couple app updates for the Zeno 2. They both appear in the same week, and I will put the uh, you know the uh, numbers down below for those app updates. In fact, I'll screenshot them from from the App Store again. App Store again. I only fly on iOS. I don't have any Android devices. I don't know if these apps. Uh, updates applied to Android or maybe only iOS and what may be related to the recent uh, uh, iOS 14 upgrade so uh, but uh, there was no firmware update for the drone per se just the app update so we're going to see if anything changed I know the second one was just all bug fixes and the first one the, I'll put the liar notes up too I don't think it added any new features or anything but let's hope it made uh, things that it already has even better so uh, then we're down here at uh, Kenya Beach today, beautiful Margate City, New Jersey. It's like the first day of fall or the second day of fall. It's anyhow, it's the beginning of fall, but it's we still got beautiful summer weather. It's a little blustery out here, but uh, the Zeno 2 has powerful motors, and I don't think it'll have any uh, trouble handling. I think we got eight mile per hour sustain and 18 mile per hour gusts, and it's always kind of strange winds coming off the ocean. But again. Hubs 2 is a pretty good flyer uh, normally, so, uh, you know, in, in high wind, strong motors, uh, top speed of like 47 miles per hour, so we should be good. I'm flying, of course, on the iPhone 11 Pro with standard controller. Uh, we got everything charged up and ready to go. We we checked the Before You Fly app for good to fly here, no, no flight restrictions whatsoever. So, um, stay tuned. We will be taking off in just a minute. Go. All right, folks, we're about ready to take off here. Uh, I think we're doing a screen recording on the phone. So if anybody's interested in this recording, I will put that in the video too. My device status list says everything's good. I'm connected, uh, uh, compass, horizontal, uh, gimbal, calibration, it's all good. So I've got 12 satellites here, 100% battery. Uh, so we look like we're good to go here. I don't see I don't, I don't see the screen recording going in the background. So we may or may, may not be getting the screen recording. It looked a little bit different on iOS 14, but uh, let me go check just just to make sure yeah we we are screen recording so let me go back into the app and let's get ready for a takeoff we will switch to the camera right now i mean the video and we will go up to the settings and make sure we're in 4k 30 i don't do 60 unless i plan on doing slow motion i don't plan on doing any slow motion today uh white balance we will go with sunny day um the hubs that doesn't have the uh the you know the issue that uh, some people have in our femies like Marcus Crawford where the uh, you, you can't put white balance sunny on our messes up so um, everything else looks good here um, let's see what's color uh, color's good I'm gonna go over and put the um, the grids on I like the grids they always turn the grids off I will format the SD card before I start to Marcus had a problem with his SD card recently, his Zeno 2. So let's see, I have any issue with the, uh, you know, the SD card. So just test out. He he had to switch to a Sandus Extreme Plus or something, right? I think I just have the standard uh, card in here. Like I don't, I mean, I have a U3, but I don't have an Extreme Plus. I just have the Extreme. So okay, let's start recording video now. And I don't seem to be getting any messages. And we bumped up to 14 salads. So let's see how the hover and everything is here so folks so we're going to take this we're going to go up in the air mickey morandini sorry i don't do as good as mike does a little hups and drop there but not too bad I got hands off the stick. It's all on its own. Pretty good hover, if I say so myself there. I mean, she's in battle of the wind here. You know, could gust up to 18, but, uh, I mean, I know how Marcus says it's not safe to walk up to it, but look. I'm by it. it it's safe. It's, it's not coming towards me. I mean, it's it's sitting right there. So, um, my, my, my hub is, you know, is is a better Zito than uh, Zito 2 than Marcus. I don't know why, but I don't do anything different than he does. But look at mine hanging there at 18 mile per hour gust. And it did a little bobbing up and down when it first took off, but right now it's not moving. 
I can't, I can't get it to go up either. But okay, let's go up and out of here, Mickey Morandini. Folks, we're about ready to take off here. Uh, I think we're doing a screen recording on the phone. So if anybody's interested in screen recording, I will put that in the video too. My device status list says everything's good. I'm connected. Uh, uh, compass, horizontal, uh, gimbal, calibration, it's all good. So I've got 12 satellites here, 100% battery. Uh, so we look like we're good to go here. I don't see I don't, I don't see the screen recording going in the background. So we may or may, may not be getting the screen recording. It looked a little bit different on iOS 14. But uh, let me go check just, just to make sure here. Yeah, we, we are screen recording. So let me go back into the app. And let's get ready for a takeoff. We will switch to the camera right now. I mean the video. And we will go up to the settings and make sure we're in 4K30. I don't do 60 unless I plan on doing some slow motion. I don't plan on doing any slow motion today. Uh, white balance. We will go with sunny day. Um, the Hubson doesn't have the... Uh, the you know the issue that uh, some people have in our Femis like Marcus Crawford where the uh, you, you can't put white balance sunny on our messes up so um, everything else looks pretty good here um, let's see what's color uh, colors good I'm gonna go over and put the um, the grids on I like the grids I always turn the grids off I will format the SD card before I start to because Marcus had a problem with his SD card recently, his Xeno 2. So let's see if I have any issue with the, uh, you know, the SD card. So just test out. He he had this switch to a Sandus Extreme Plus or something, right? I think I just had the standard uh, card in here. Like, I don't, I, I mean, I have a U3, but I don't have an Extreme Plus. I just have the Extreme. So, okay, let's start recording video now. And I don't see them be getting any messages. And we bumped up to 14 salads. So, let's see how the hover and everything is here. So, folks, so we're going to take this. We're going to go up in the air. Mickey Morandini. Sorry, I, I don't do as good as Mike does. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Okay, a little hubs and drop there, but not too bad. I got hands off the stick. It's all on its own. Pretty good hover if I say so myself there. I mean, she's in battle of the wind here. You know, could gust up to 18, but uh, I mean, I know how Marcus says it's not safe to walk up to it, but look, I'm by. It, it's safe. It's, it's not coming towards me. I mean, it's it's sitting right there. So um, my 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 Hubsa Zito is is a better Zito than uh, Zito Two than Marcus's. I don't know why, but I don't do anything different than he does. But look at mine hanging there, an 18 mile per hour gust. And it did a little bob it up and down when it first took off, but right now it's not moving. I can't I can't get it to go up either. But okay, let's go. Up and out of here, Mickey Morandini. All right, I think I'm recording audio still, so um, get the camera back here. So let's let's really take off here. Let's see, we're I don't know what mode we're in here. Let's see here. Okay, we're in normal mode here, not sport mode. So let's go out here. We got a surfer out here. Alrighty, we're um, 137 100, feet up in the air. So we all know the Zeno 2 doesn't do well aim at the sun. So what, let me just show you how it does badly when being aimed towards the, uh, the sun. And not even the worst sun of the day, but it doesn't handle exposure well at all. So that hasn't been fixed. And you'll see the lens flare issue here too. And I'm going to raise it just a little bit on the gimbal tilt. You'll see it just, you know, it just can't handle the bright exposure of the sun. I mean, I've seen it worse than this before, but, 
Yeah, it's not good. So let's do what the, the thing does good. It uh, does real well uh, flying with the sun on its back. So let's start. A, let's, let's turn it around the other way. Try not to give you too quick of a yaw, like Marcus Crawford always says. Don't want to break anybody's neck with a with a fast yaw. Uh oh, look! Look, there's a jet skier. Should we go after him a little bit? Yep, there he goes. Uh, we better hit in sport mode here. Now we're in sport mode. Let's see what we could do now. USB is disconnected. Uh oh, I've got my first problem. USB cable not connected. It definitely looks connected to me. So we were going real good then. I don't know if I bumped the cable or not. So let's uh, let's raise the altitude a little bit. Okay, so we're pretty high up there now. We could do a return to home from the controllers, and not to worry. But let's let's plug in and. All right, we re plugged in and we're back. Okay, so we're we're doing good. So I, I guess I gotta be real careful not to get rid of that cable. Uh oh, and the y'all's oh, it's, it's a sport mode. That's why it's yawing like crazy. So uh, let's uh, let's fly down this way here. Seems to be pulling a little bit towards the uh, ocean here but okay I think I've got it to uh, manage now look at this look at the speed we've got down in that pier I mean we're humming we're we're 43 miles per hour I mean it's just humming down there and even in battle and wind I'm at I'm at 1600 feet and I've got perfect uh, image transmission on my uh, controller here beautiful picture here again now, I, I see it starting to break up just a little bit. The FPV doesn't look as good. But I'm at 2,500 feet out. So, you know, um, take that with a grain of salt. So, um, okay, let's, uh, let's turn it here a little bit. And let's, uh, let's fly backwards a little bit. You hear some helicopters in the background. Don't worry, it's the uh, Coast Guard way out of sea practice and rescues. They, they do it all the time. So we're coming, we're flying backwards now along the coastline. Hopefully we're getting some decent looking video here. Okay, we're back over the pier, but my funny how my image transmission really, de really declined after a certain point. It was looking real sharp for a while. Okay, so we're back at the pier here. Let's uh, switch out of sport mode here. They have a film mode, which uh, I forget how slow that is. Let's kind of uh, let's try film mode out a little bit. See how how slow it really is. It's like we're barely even moving. Uh oh, and I see a boat coming along. That's just a wave. Sorry. Let's get down to a more respectable height, like about 150 feet. So let's, I'm going to go over into normal mode because uh, that uh, film mode was just too darn slow. Okay. So we're coming to the pier. So let's, let's do like a little kind of semi-orbit around here. You can see some of those waves. Now you see the bright exposure coming in again. <laughs> exposure is crazy on this thing. Alrighty. So we're still good. We got 74% battery life. I, mean, I got to remember not to touch that darn cord. So let's, let's get it 
over so we're not facing the sun at all. It's terrible when you got to fly. Make sure you keep your um, back of the drone to the sun at all times, or your your picture goes, uh, you know, unwatchable with the bright exposure. But you'll see how it gets better as I kind of orbit around here, and we get the back of this drone to the sun. All right, should look much better now. Yes, the Margate Fishing Pier, they recently extended. So, um, okay, let's bring it back a little bit. We're gonna fly backwards because we don't want to face that, uh, that sun. So we're just flying back in normal mode, not sport mode. I don't know what way the winds I'm going to say I'm actually flying into the wind now. It's still not doing. We're doing 15 miles per hour into the end with the wind. So let's go to the sport mode. Pick up a little speed here. Try to get this gimbal up a little bit here. Give you more of a view. Yeah, now we're doing uh, almost 25 miles per hour times in the sport mode, even though we're flying into the wind. And we're almost, I think we're almost back. And we're under a thousand feet. He's coming home. I mean, I'm just manual flying home, not to not return home or anything. We may try a position landing later on here. I'm in kind of a tight spot here. I maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't, or maybe I'll move the landing pad to a more open area. And uh, of course, I can't do that because it remembers the home point. So for scratch that. Okay, she's she's back now. She's more than back. So okay, while we were down there. Um, Let's see if we could try any of the, uh, you know, intelligent flight modes here. So let's stop that recording for a second, make sure we have that. And uh, let's go over here to the, uh, I keep hitting this darn cord here. Let's go over to the uh, left side of the screen and hit the, some of our other modes. We've got normal mode here. we got the hyperlapse. We don't want to do a hyperlapse. Waypoint, orbit, uh, fouling mode, uh, create a video. I don't know what that is. Uh, line fly mode. Uh, uh, I never get that right. And panoramic photo, which is a good thing, but we I don't know if that's a good panoramic photo or not. Uh, we're too f better better to be close to the piers. What's I've never messed with the waypoints in here. What's uh I wonder if we could do a wave we got enough time to do a waypoint mission. Sixty uh sixty percent left, so um Okay, so here's the home point. So what's uh Put our first waypoint down there. I don't even know how you start a waypoint. Uh, draw, delete, POI. Well, I don't have a point of interest yet. How about just draw? Draw one. Oops. I don't want all those waypoints there. How do you delete? Delete. Yep, clear all the waypoints. So um, let's make the screen smaller. So let's try that again. So let's put one waypoint there now. Let me try a different waypoint thing there. Oh, there I got one waypoint. Two waypoint. Three waypoint. 
four waypoint? Okay, I've got a waypoint mission, so let's submit it. GPS accuracy test. Uh, I didn't do a GPS accuracy test, so this this isn't going to work. Yep, I didn't do the GPS accuracy test when I took off, so this isn't going to work. So, whoa, we're going to scrap the, um, the waypoint. We don't want to save it. We, we don't want to do anything with it. How about done? Nah. Now we, now we don't know how to get out of it. Let's just go back here. Okay. So that didn't work out too good. I don't even know where the drone is right now. Let's, uh, let's bring it back to us. Um, let's go. I don't know how to get out of waypoints. Uh, how about delete? Let's delete all of them. And then done. Yeah, the problem is I, I, I don't know how to get out of waypoints now because if I go to something else, fouling mode. Okay, there I'm back. Okay, let's, uh, let's just bring it on back here. I don't even know where this thing is right now. Uh, turn home. Return to home. Let's see what I have it set at. Uh, it's going up, uh, it's going up over 200, uh, feet. It's really going up there. Let's, let's record. Maybe I'll get some decent video. She's up almost 250 feet. It's coming back now. I think I hear it. Oh, it's straight ahead. Here it is. It's coming down. I'll let it come down for a while, then I'll stop it. Because it, it was 200 feet, 50 feet high. That was what I had set as the, uh, you know, return to home height. You know, make sure it gets above anything tall buildings around here so let's uh let's stop this now cancel cancel okay, we canceled it all right so let's see how it does flying over the dunes here We, we don't want to fly in sport mode. I'm try I'm changing modes on the phone here, which is kind of nice. I kind of don't want this thing in the corner to be as big as it is. There we go. We go. We're flying over the Margate Dunes here, the Army Corps Engineer Dunes that were made about three years ago. We're really losing light here quickly. All right, and what's that looks pretty good. Let's come back. Like I said, I think we're flying into the wind on the way back. We're still going pretty good speed and normal. Battery level is only 40%. We're almost back. Here it is. What if we could do an orbit? Go up a little, I don't know how high it to be. Let me stop the video here. And um, let me go over to these uh, intelligent flight modes again. Let's see if we can do an orbit. Oh, we got to do a GPS accuracy test. I 
the quality of your current GPS is relatively poor. Let's bring it in close. Yeah, folks, if you want to do the GPS accuracy test, it has to be close. So let me go into settings and try to find the GPS accuracy test. Uh, start GPS accuracy test. Next step. Okay, we're close. See if it can. Uh, we can pass the test now. Okay, we got good GPS accuracy now. So that's good. We're getting somewhere, folks. Sorry if I sound like my buddy Jim, Quadcopter 101. Always says folks a lot. Uh, so uh, let's do a little recording here. Um, let's go back to orbit feature. And now, okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, throttle up, uh, decrease, increase. Okay, we got it. So keep. Okay. Uh, set transmitter location as the point of interest. Good. Yep. Next step. Uh, radius 20 meters. Altitude 10 meters. Uh, let's see, you, how do you change? I don't know how you change it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You just change it by moving the stick up. Okay. So we're, we're pretty good. Uh, current uh, radius. Okay, let's see if we can. We're orbiting. It's slow orbit. Let's speed that orbit up a little. Let's really speed up. Thing moving. Moving slow as molasses. Okay, it's telling me the battery is 30%. Let me hide it. I can't even see if I'm in the darn picture. There I am. Yeah, I'm in there. So we are, we're orbiting pretty good. Uh, you know, we're doing a pretty good orbit here. Uh, I'm proud of myself. I usually don't know how to. Uh, I usually don't do a good job demoing these things like like Mr. Marcus Crawford does. But uh, so I'm pulling a Marcus Crawford and you know demonstrating some of the advanced features. Now I'm going to have to get with him and take some notes on that uh, uh, waypoint feature. I'm more of a, um, Low battery warning. what do you call it? The drone uh, is under I'm more of a leachy waypoint, man. All I got is four seconds, the aircraft will automatically return. Oh, boy. Let's cancel return. And keep orbiting. All right, folks. I guess I better bring this down. We're all at 28%. All right. So, uh... I'm in kind of a confined area here. Let me get the GoPro on again here. I'm in kind of a confined area, so I'm probably not going to do the... Um, I th is this thing playing or not? Hold on. Yeah, I'm in a confined area here, so I'm not probably not going to do the uh, precision landing. We'll just... Uh, Ron's going to try the precision landed today so uh let's bring it down i got some seagulls around here but they don't see them they don't see them on the, the xeno all right here she comes down folks i'm just itching her down here Get her in the pad. Not too bad. We got uh, three, three, uh, three or four legs on. Uh, well, one just barely, but uh, you know, I've done worse. Uh, of course, the wind, um, you know, stopped it there. So I'm going to screw the recording here. And uh, you know, it's like a little squirrely area here. I should have moved the pad to a more wide open area, but I kind of wanted to be on top of the uh, the dude here to um, you know get a better uh, signal from uh, you know aiming the, the drone way down there to the pier. So okay, I didn't you know I got two again. The whole point of this video was just to tell you I did two app updates this week for the iPhone 11 Pro iOS. Uh, I I didn't notice anything different. Notice any. Um, 
performance improvements or the other way around it knows any negatives either so i guess that we, we got that going for us so um you know th uh, that's it for the conclusions uh the zulu 2 um you know still you know it's not perfect but you know it's uh you know, it's a decent drone. How does it compare to the Phoebe? Um, I, I don't have the Phoebe 2020, but um, you know, in some ways better, some ways worse. Um, I, I wouldn't what, tell you which one to get, but uh, anyhow, you saw the video, you can judge for yourself. Got any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to uh, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave the old thumb, I mean, leave the old thumbs up, and uh, I messed that all up. But anyhow, you know what to do at the end of the video, so we will see you on the next one.